in a Cartesian equation, we just have one equation linking x and y. In a parametric equation, we have a separate equation for x and a separate equation for y linked by a third variable, a parameter. So here we've got an equation for x, x equals t minus 1, and an equation for y, y equals 7 minus 2t. So we've got two separate equations linked by t, the third variable. So the first question here says, find the coordinates where the graph crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. So we know it crosses x when y equals 0, and it crosses y when x equals 0. So to find out where it crosses x, we're going to substitute in y equals 0. So we substitute that into the y equation. So 0 equals 7 minus 2t. If we plus 2t to both sides, we get 2t equals 7. And then divide both sides by 2. So t equals 7 over 2, or 3.5. So we know what t is, but we want to know what x is. So we substitute the t now into the x equation. So x equals 7 over 2 minus 1. 7 over 2 minus 1 is 5 over 2, or 2.5. So it crosses x when x is 5 over 2, and y is 0. So they're the coordinates of where it crosses the x-axis. It crosses y when x equals 0. So if we substitute x equals 0 in, so we get 0 equals t minus 1. So t is 1. But we want the y, we want the y coordinate, so we substitute t equals 1 into our y equation. 7 minus 2 is 5. So it crosses the y at 0 and 5. If we need to draw a graph of a parametric equation, we complete a table of values with t at the top, and then for each value of t, we put it into both equations, and then that gives us the coordinates of each point. So if we substitute negative 2 in to the x equation, we get negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 3, and we put negative 2 into the y equation, so y equals 7 minus 2 negative 2s, so 7 plus 4, so 11. So when t is minus 2, we've got the coordinate of negative 3, 11, and we can substitute all of these t values in, so if we put negative 1 in, negative 1 minus 1, and 7 minus 2 negative ones, so 7 plus 2. And we can keep going, and then it will give us all our coordinates that we could plot on a graph. So 0 into both of them, 1, 2, and it's a straight line graph, so we can see a pattern here. And then if we wanted to plot the straight line graph, we ignore the t values and just plot our x and our y. Okay, here's another set of parametric equations. So find the coordinates where the graph crosses the x and y axes, complete the table of values. So pause the video, give it a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, so crosses x when y equals 0. So when y equals 0, we've got t squared minus 4. So 4 equals t squared. So t is square root 4, or the plus or minus square root 4. So plus or minus 2 is our answer. So we've got two different t values. So we're going to put both of those into the x equation. So x can be 2 minus 2, or x equals negative 2 minus 2. So x is 0, or 
negative 4. So it crosses at 0, 0 and negative 4, 0. Find the coordinates where it crosses the, well, the y-axis as well. So it crosses y when x equals 0. So when x is 0, we've got 0 equals t minus 2. So t is 2. And I think we already know this because we've already, we've already worked this out. But y equals 2 squared minus 4, which is 0. So it crosses y at 0, 0. But we already knew that because we worked it out down there. And complete the table of values. So if we substitute minus 2, negative 2 into both equations, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. If we just go along the um, x first, so negative 1 minus 2, 0 minus 2, and we see a pattern. It's just the t minus 2, 2 off the t t squared minus 4, so 2 squared is 4, minus 4 is 0. 1 squared is 1, minus 4 is negative 3. 0 minus 4, negative 4. 1 minus 4, negative 3. Uh, 4 minus 4 is 0 again. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 16 minus 4 is 12. And again, we could plot this onto a graph. We've got the x's and the y's, so we could draw the graph from here.